Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever applies to you. This is Alan from MindVisionMedia.net, and today I want to do part two of Sidebars and Widgets. One of my subscribers, I believe his name was Philip, asked about uh, duplicating um, this type of layout, which I have on my homepage at MindVisionMedia.net. Um, using the responsive theme by theme ID and they have three widgets on the home page known as widget, home widget 1, home widget 2, and home widget 3. We're going to simulate this on a blank page which is a test page that I created. I recommend creating a test page. You can make it private so that it doesn't actually publish to your site people who are browsing your site won't see it but you can test plugins you can test layouts you can test colors you can see your work without publishing it first um, okay so basically let's get started we'll go back to here um, first I want to go and create the widget that we're going to use um, if we go to our theme widgets the default widgets are over here in the main sidebar. The plugins and added widgets you installed are over here along with some default widgets that come with the theme. And what we're going to do is create a widget that will show up over here. As you notice, there's Home Widget 1, there's Home Widget 2, and there's Home Widget 3, which corresponds to the content that I have right here on my home page. Okay? I'm going to run through kind of quick, but you want to install sidebars and widgets. Okay. And you also want to install the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget. I passed it up there. There we go. Black Studio Tiny MCE widget. Okay. You might have to install. Tiny MCE Advanced. I'm not sure, but I use both. They give you a combination of options uh, to add buttons to your edit pages uh, while you're working on your pages or posts. So, what we're going to do using those two plugins is create that effect. Okay? So, let's go to Sidebars and Widgets. I'm going to click Add New. These are the ones I've created already. I'm going to give it a title. Oh, the Home Widget Style. I'm going to activate it. You have to activate when you create a new sidebar. Here you can tell it to replace other sidebars, which I'm not going to do. But you can, so you just leave it like that. And here's where we can choose the alignment. Basically I'm going to choose horizontal. Okay, horizontal. Vertical is default. So most of the widgets inside your site, as especially your theme when you first get it, they're all basically categorized as um, vertical. Maybe some themes have the option for horizontal, but this particular theme doesn't. And if you're watching this, yours probably doesn't either. But here's the option for horizontal. We're going to choose horizontal. Here you can give it a description. Okay, home, home widget style test. Basically, you can set all other options over here. You can assign it to just pages, just posts, or everything in your site. We're going to save it. And now in your list of widgets, there it is, Home Widget Style. That's the one we just created. Okay, it tells you what it is. We wrote a little description. It's active, it means it works. There's a short code. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go back to Widgets and see if it showed up in our widget column on our widget options page. There's all the widgets Home Widget 1, 2, 3, and Home Widget Style the one we just created okay so currently if you open it up there's nothing in there so as with all widgets well not all widgets but you drag something in there 
in this case what we're going to do is grab a Black Studio Tiny MCE widget we're going to drag it into the home style widget we just created here's all the many options you get with Tiny MCE as versatility to your editing we're going to click inside that Black Studio Tiny MCE widget which is just inside the home widget horizontal style widget we created Okay. Tiny MCE gives you the option to choose or add media. And what I'm going to do is select the graphics that I have on my home page just like that. Okay. It's going to be that simple. But first, what we want to do is we want to insert a table. I'm going to give it three columns and one row. Let's do a border of two. And let's see a color. Let's do 999. And okay, there we have a light gray border and three columns, one row. I'm going to click inside the first column and click the Add Media button. I'm going to select that graphic just like I did a few seconds ago. And now it's inside the table. I'm going to go into second column, grab the next graphic. Boom. I'm going to go into the third column, Add Media. Click the third graphic. Now they're lined up in horizontal fashion. But as you can see, they're kind of big. So for this example, what I'm going to do is reduce the size. I'm going to click on the graphic, go to Edit, Quick Edit, take it down to 80%. Update that. You see it got a little smaller there. I'm going to do that to all three. The beauty of a test page is that you get to play around and make sure everything is good before you, you know, actually publish it. Okay, so they're fitting inside there. I can see them. They're lined up just like they are on my home page. I have uh, just a regular border on there. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's give it some cell padding and some cell spacing and update that. Now there's a little more space in between there, in between the graphics. Okay, looks good. I'm going to save that Black Studio Tiny MCE. I'm going to close it. Remember, it's inside the home widget style horizontal widget we created. I'm going to close that. Now we're done with the widget. Now we have to go to the page or post that you want to put it on. Excuse me, and it's just how simple it is. I could choose any of my pages that I wanted to put that on. In this case, I'm going to go to. Uh, um, I have many pages, so let's see. I'm going to go to my test page and click Edit. Now, again, the test page is where I can play around, try new plugins, try new methods, practice, whatever. Here's where you make it private. I recommend doing that, that way it doesn't actually get published to the website while it's live. So people won't accidentally browse to this page and say, oh my god, what are they doing? Um, so in this case I made mine private. Okay, so just wanted to show you that real quick. I'm going to click inside the page, my test page that I want to try this new widget we created out on and I'm going to go to this button which appears when you install sidebars and widgets click on that opens a drop down menu and inside that list there it is home widget style that's the widget we just created in this tutorial I'm going to click insert bam it puts the short code for that in there it's not a whole lot I'm going to update the page Okay. Now, here's the test page. I had it preloaded. There's nothing on the page. I'm going to go back to our edit where we just put the short code for the horizontal widget style. I'm going to click update one more time. 
Okay, and then click preview off to the side here. And it's reloading the page. And bam, there we have it a horizontal alignment on the widget. And I simulated on the test page what I have on my home page. Bigger gaps there, but I can adjust that with the table that I inserted using the Black Studio Tiny MCE widget. I can put more cell padding, less cell padding. I can put a background color on each cell. I won't go into tables right now, but in a table you can select create borders, um, color the border. You can put background colors inside the cells themselves. Um, you can do a whole lot with tables. Uh, that's another tutorial or if anyone has a question on tables they can send me uh, a form request or an email but let's say I wanted to instead of having the three um, images that I have on my home page down here let's say what if I wanted to have my banner like that on another page okay let's do that let's go back to widgets and we're going to modify the widget that that short code was referencing. Okay, so we're in home widget style. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to open up the Black Studio Tiny MC widget. I'm going to select this whole table here and delete it. Now, I'm going to add media. And you know, a good practice is to create graphics that are going to fit where you want them to. And that's another benefit of um, creating your graphics, you know, outside of WordPress and not just squeezing them down or resizing them, but actually figuring out how big you need it to be and doing your uh, graphic or whatever it is, creation outside bring it in at that size so that you don't have to squeeze it or compress it or make it look funny or low quality you can do it at high quality at the specific size if you already know the size anyway I selected my banner okay and I'm going to insert that into the post okay that's one of my smaller ones so let's just take a look at that. Let's just save that. I don't really need a table for it. Close that. Go back to our page. And let's see, that was test page. Look at it. Now you don't have to do this, I just like to. I'm just going to delete that one even though we're dealing with the same widget. I'm going to update that page real quick. And then I'm going to insert that home style widget one more time. Just a clean insertion. Update. Go to our test page and refresh. And now it has the horizontal banner in it. If it had my large banner in it, it would just stretch across here like so. But I just wanted to show you the alignment. That's what this was all about. Horizontal widgets. Any questions, contact me at mindvisionmedia.net. Philip, I hope this helped. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.